God's Son, Jesus, took all of my guilt on himself. Man, I'm thankful for that. If you haven't, if you haven't accepted Christ and let what he did on the cross be the payment for your guilt, I'm going to give you an opportunity today to come and say, I want him to be my Savior, my Lord. This is awesome. Isaiah chapter 53, the prophet Isaiah wrote this 700 years before Jesus walked the earth. And here's what he says about Christ's life and ministry. He says, but he, Jesus, he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities, our sin. The punishment that brought us peace, peace with God, was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We are made whole because of Christ. I love it. I love it. The gospel is the greatest soul restoration plan in the world. It cleans us up. It makes us new. Jesus paid it all. We sang it today. All to him I owe. There's no condemnation in Christ. Now, I, I want to talk to you about a word that I love uh, in the Bible. In, in John 3.16, Jesus said, these, these were actually his words. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but can have eternal life awesome i want to talk about this word believe i remember i did a word study on it one time it's the word pistuo it's a powerful word because biblical belief pistuo is a lot more than me just sitting here saying i believe something i could stand here and i could say i believe this stool will hold all my weight and some of you might say, well, sure, I believe that too. I sat on them out there, you know, and all that kind of thing. But, but, but there might be some who go, mm, all right, maybe, maybe. I don't know if he believes that or not. But listen, nobody doubts it now, right? I can even... <laughs> right? Nobody doubts that I believe this stool will hold me now. Why? Because I just pistuoed. I just demonstrated my belief. See, belief isn't just a mental thing in the Bible. It's demonstrated. It's lived out. You engage in it. It's not just something we, we separate from our lifestyle. This pistuo is very much in keeping with what James teaches, that faith without works is dead, right? That it has to be demonstrated. And so here's my thing. Maybe you're here today and you say, oh, yeah, I believe in Jesus. Of course, I believe he died on the cross. I believe that he's God's son. And you believe all these things. But have you done this with it? Are you living it? Have you, have you embraced? Have you surrendered Christ? Have you placed your faith in Him? Have you followed Him as a disciple? Are you waking up daily saying, He's my Savior, He's my Lord. I sanctify Him apart. I set Him apart. I'm living for Him. I've followed Him in baptism. I've, I've raised up. I, I'm a disciple. And I'm living that thing out loud. Right? That's what it's about. Jesus didn't say, come believe in me. He said, come follow me. And so today, I want to invite you, man. I want to invite you to come and follow, to come and say, oh, Lord Jesus, thank you for taking all of my guilt on the cross. I want to be a follower today. Hey, man, Pastor Brad here, 80s Christian metal musician and teaching pastor. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support what I'm doing, I want to encourage you to check out my Patreon page, okay? The link will be in the description to this video below. Over on my Patreon page, I'll give you a full explanation of what I'm doing and how you can get involved in supporting it. God bless you. Thanks for your consideration. Bye-bye.